So it just got super sunny in our place, so I'm gonna do my best to tell you why I love teaching while I'm balancing this crazy light. Hmm, what a metaphor. Hey friends, I'm Joe Carlesi, the super brave teacher, and today I wanna show, share with all of you why I love teaching, why I absolutely love being a teacher. So I'm gonna be brutally honest and vulnerable with you all from the start of this video that I've been struggling with teaching lately. Not teaching itself, still really love it. Not struggling with the students, still really, really love them. Not struggling with my school or anything like that. Just internally, I've been struggling with the thought of like, is teaching my calling? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Is this what sparks joy in me? Is this what really makes me come alive? And I think it's okay to say, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. And maybe it's winter. Maybe it's something everyone goes through. Maybe it's the least unique problem in the world. But it's something that's just been on my heart lately that maybe teaching's not for me. I'm not throwing that out there to be all dramatic or to get you to keep watching this video. I really think every person in their life needs to keep asking themselves, what sparks joy in you? Why do you do what you do? And I'll tell you, I have the gift for teaching. I can teach anybody under the table in a beautiful way. And as I do that, I will support them and love them and help them become the best teachers they are. I love teaching. My brain is just wired for it. And like, that's, that's what is so beautiful and what's so hard because teaching is everything I love in life. I get to teach in Spanish all day, which I love Spanish. It makes my brain just happy in every single sense. It just fires all these neurons and ugh, beautiful ways. I get to be around kids, which is like the biggest joy because they're so themselves and they come alive and they're so encouraging and so kind and just so inspiring. I get to dance and sing and have fun and use my creativity in ways. I get to like be the guy on the stage, but I also get to get off the stage right away and like have other kids be teachers and just have all this fun. And I literally have kids give me a round of applause all day long and give each other a round of applauses. And it's just so fun to validate kids and validate myself and have mentor teachers and be a mentor to new teachers and take on student teachers and take on interns and practicum students and all these things. And I still keep asking myself, what's next? What's the next thing? And I don't know what it is. I could easily say, that's just our society. That's just how things work. That's just what, no, what I wanna do right now is just sit in it and say that, and invite you to sit in it with me and say that it's okay that right now I have a job that I love going to, that I'm really good at, and that feeds my soul. And I can also hold the fact that my soul is hungry for more. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm just gonna keep on doing what I do and keep asking these questions and putting myself out there and saying like, what's the next thing for me? And that might be redesigning a curriculum. That might be doing some more presentations this year. That might be putting myself out there all the more with this book and just pushing through to the, till this book is published. I don't know what that is, but I do know that like, my soul is still hungry. And I wrestle with how to have a hungry soul and also take care of myself and not burn myself out and not overwork and not go crazy when I also, like I said, have this beautiful, beautiful life. So why would I want to change anything? You know, I have this trauma brain of, of losing a lot in my life. So there is that, that fear in my, in my brain that just says, you're in a good season of life. Don't, don't, don't change it up. Um, but I think that I have to because that's who I am. So thanks for being on this journey with me. Thanks for listening to me babble and babble and babble. I share these things because I want you to know that your thoughts, your feelings, your duality of holding these emotions is 
unique to you, but a universal thing. And we are not, we are not alone. You are not alone. You are awesome. You are super and brave just being who you are. So keep doing super and brave things. Keep being kind, keep being loving. I'm gonna do the same thing. I call myself the super brave teacher and I just had a video saying like, maybe I don't wanna be a teacher anymore. That's okay too, because I'm always gonna be a teacher. You're always, in some facet of life, we're all teachers. So yeah, you are appreciated. You are loved, you are enough, just for being you. Joel, hold this feeling right now. Don't, don't go distract yourself, be in this, because you are enough no matter what you do, because who you are is awesome.